Hello everyone, my name is Bryn and welcome back to my channel. So here we post videos about life and study at the Australian National University in Canberra and what your life could be like if you studied here as well. So in today's video, I'll be talking about how you can get an internship in your first year at university by following the same steps that I did. So I apologize if I looked down a bit during the video, I've had to write everything out so I remember what I have to say. Um, and also I'm actually in my sister's bedroom at the moment just because she has the prettiest bedroom in my childhood home. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions about studying at the ANU, please feel free to contact me uh, on Instagram or leave a comment below. And if you have any questions that you'd like answered about the ANU, uh, please comment as well. I'd love uh, some more ideas from video for videos that are what you guys want to watch. So I think that there were four key things for me when I was trying to get an internship that really, I suppose, solidified uh, my position in my internship search and also strengthened my application. Uh, so the first thing that I did was I reached out to companies. I think that this is the most important thing when you are trying to get an internship is showing initiative and First of all, finding local companies who you can apply to, uh, who you find, you know, really resonate with you or might have a lot of experience that you'd like to gain. Uh, reach out to them and ask if they offer any internship programs or if you can uh, do an internship without being paid. Um, I understand that there is a lot of discussion, I suppose, about unpaid internships and how often they really benefit people in a privileged position um, and I think that if you have the opportunity to take an unpaid internship you are in an incredibly privileged position. I was in, in, an, un, in an incredibly privileged position. Um, so yeah that is a discussion that needs to be had but often firms will be happy to have an unpaid intern uh, if people have the capacity to do that and I think for people who don't have the capacity to do that a lot of the big firms, so for me, looking at business and uh, international relations sort of intersections, big firms like, you know, PwC, KPMG, uh, I think BCG does some internships, Deloitte, all of them have internships or summer vacation programs where you get paid. And I think that those are great opportunities if uh, the payment is really important to you and yeah, take those opportunities as well. I. Uh, yeah, so back onto my point, sorry. Um, I reached out to, uh, I reached out to one local firm, but I had a list of local firms that I was planning to reach out to, uh, to try and get an internship. And businesses love when people show initiative. Uh, that shows that you, you know, you're a get up and go kind of character and that's what they want in their business. Secondly, sort of an add on to that point is I found smaller businesses. I didn't, because I was in my first year, and I couldn't really apply for other, you know, I couldn't apply for the Deloitte vacation program or the KPMG vacation program. I decided to apply to these smaller businesses who I knew would be happy to have an intern and who might not have got as many applications for interns as well. So yeah, I applied to those small businesses just because I thought I had more of a chance. And I think that as well as that, once you are an intern in a small business, you get so much experience. Um, and so much diverse experience throughout whatever their product range is um, or their accounts range. And yeah, that's something I would really recommend. Next is a practical point, I suppose. I applied and I had great grades and I had a great resume. And I think that making sure that your grades are good grades, I would say at least a distinction average, but if it's higher then good. Um, and having other experiences on your resume, whether that just be, you know, being members of clubs, uh, volunteering as class representative, or if you have had the opportunity to get other experience, getting other experience. I think that those are all really important when a firm is looking at whether they should hire you or not. And having like other sort of soft skills experience, like say you're waitressing or you're, you know, working as a salesperson in a shop, you can still build really important soft skills there, like communication and teamwork that companies still look for. Um, yeah, but in general, I would say building your resume and maintaining or achieving excellent grades 
are things that set you apart from other people who might apply. Um, and finally, I finally I provided a proposal. So I proposed that I would do an internship for this many weeks. I would uh, develop this product. I would uh, add this to the team. This is why you should, you should choose me, basically. And that was, I think, something that really sealed the deal for me was the way that I created this proposal. So I think if they ask you to create a proposal, that's definitely something that you should do. And even if you sometimes feel a little bit of imposter syndrome, you know, I often feel imposter syndrome, but I think that just having a go, that's what they want to see. They want to see that you're willing to try things, uh, you're willing to take criticism and feedback, and you're willing to improve. And that's what businesses want to see. I think I would recommend for anyone to have an internship in their first year if they can do it. Uh, if you feel like you have the, the mental and physical capacity, the emotional capacity, um, and if you feel like that's something that you want to look into pursuing and you're not really sure, taking an internship in your first year is also a great way to do that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this short video guys. If you have any questions about this, please leave them below, message me on Instagram, I'd love to hear from you. Bye!